with me, I've got Jazza Dickens. How are we doing, James? I'm all right, yourself. I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank, thank you for having us down. Um, we're not too far away from your fight now on the 6th of March, deep into camp. Tell us a little bit how camp's going. Camp's going great, just five and a half weeks to go. I've done six already. Um, just enjoying it. I'm loving life and clacking on, enjoying it. It's one of the most um, enjoyable camps we've had so far. Of all the people I speak to, you really live the boxing lifestyle and you're fully focused and dedicated, aren't you? Yeah, um, there's nothing else I can do. I go home and come back. That's, I'm sitting in the house thinking what time's the next gym session and stuff like that. So I'm really enjoying it. From the last camp I had for the business title, it was uh, more of a grind. Um, every single day, grind. I've got to do this, got to do this. But now I'm not uh, afraid to change. You know, change, enjoy myself, enjoy myself through camp. Still training as hard, so why not? Everything's looking forward now for the 6th of March on the Mersey Boys show. British title challenge for yourself versus Josh Wow. First and foremost, how, how much and how highly do you rate Josh Wow? Um, I do rate him. He's, everyone knows he's got a high work rate and he's a good honest fighter and he's, he's a nice lad. So I give him respect where it's due and I'll just focus on myself for this fight as, as I always do. And like I say, just enjoy myself in it. You mentioned this camp maybe not as grinding as the camp that you had for the Kid Galahad fight. Do you feel do you feel that was a valuable learning experience for you that fight? Of course, I learned lots of things through the fight, um, through the camp. More you learn through the camp, not the fight. But um, yeah, just enjoying myself. That's that's the biggest change. I'm enjoying myself. I look through my diet sheets and but my log and my diary, and I'm saying it harder. So why not enjoy myself, laugh more, and enjoy more, enjoy the time with the lads, and and have my eyes more open as I'm learning. I watched a documentary on you before. Uh, I got to know you a bit and it was just fascinating seeing you having a ring in your front room that you had yeah. built and these kind of things. You, you don't see that very often, do you? No, um, there's not many fighters who live here. It's hard to get sparring where everyone's either doing this or that. It's really hard. You get, you get the, the same faces who you'll spar over and over who are always in the gym all year round, but it's hard to get, to get sparring when, you know, everyone's over Christmas, like everyone doesn't want to know and times like that, they're not fighting, they don't want to know, so it's it's important to stay in the gym. If I take six months in the gym every day, then someone hasn't got to fight for six months, I'm obviously learning more. What do you think of the super bantamweight division at the moment in the UK? Um, it's great, isn't it? Um, I don't know, I'd like to focus more on myself. And no, I respect that, Jess. Um I do like to focus on myself, but it's a great division and I'm happy to be in one of the, the officers divisions. I'd rather say I'm in this division than a division that's empty, so I'm glad that it's a great division to, to prove myself in. As you said, it's a real competitive division in the UK and some massive fights in the future in the pipeline. Yeah. People people there uh, sit at home and, and watch the telly. They don't care about money, do they? So why should we care about money? You know, we should fight the best and we've got a great division to fight the best. In. I'd love to fight uh, Galad a second time. People would love to see that fight. It's not about the money for me. I, I want to give enter entertainment to the crowd. What would it mean to you to become a British champion in Liverpool, mate? It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, not just for me, for the people who followed me from the start, as well as people who've been there from from my very first fight, from my debut, from my amateur days. Just people who followed me, and a big thank you to them people, by the way. Um, I love to do it for them as well as myself, and um, I've got a baby coming in three days. So congratulations, Jasmine. Thank you very much. Um, it'd be nice to go go home and put the belt around me, me girl, and the, and the kids. I mean, Liverpool's got a fantastic history of boxers, but at the moment, it seems to be producing a lot. A hell of a lot of talent in all kind of weight classes. Yeah, I think you've got to come break through the system, really, haven't you? To be honest, you've got to break through it. You've got to, you've got to prove yourself. Um, everyone's selling tickets to the same people, so you have to stand out in the bill now at the minute, and it's great. It's nice. If you've got to, got to be a fighter, and you can't just be one of them. I, I do a bit of boxing. You've got to really go for it to break through this Liverpool system at the minute. What kind of fighters from Liverpool did you look up to when you was coming through in your amateur days, Jazz? To be honest, um, I, I didn't look up to fighters, more people who helped me through hard times. They're the people who look up to, who get me strength from, like some of my he's, he has another easy, he's a strong man. Um, people like Franny and um, I look to, like, up to people like um, David Berkey, he'd been there and had good careers and stuff like that. So people who, who really helped me through hard times, like Paul and Mick and my manager and stuff like that. So then people who I look up to, who I, I see the real strength from. Interesting, you mentioned Paul Mick because they seem to be doing a, from the outside in seem to be doing a cracking job with you. I've seen them after fights just sitting and kind of having a consultation with you about the fight, about your performance. Do you find that really helpful? That stuff. Really, I um, every single day I go home and write, I write down in my um, training log what Paul Mick told me to do. Yeah, I get your hands up a bit there when you're doing this or doing that. I go home and study Paul Mick's word. I'm walking down the street and I've got Paul's, Paul's voice ringing in my ear. So. Um, the difference between Paul and Mick, you see these um, coaches on the 
might be on your your film sets or whatever. I, I do this, I do that. Paul and Mick don't want to. They just want want to win, like I do. And tonight to have um, a team where we just want to be world champions. Me, Paul, Mick, Neil, the bottom. We just want to buy the money for us to buy. It's about the buzz and want to be world champion. I mean, how how was this gym? Not just this gym, but the likes of Rotonda and the other local gyms. How have they kept producing these kids time and time again? I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's not. It's it's the people behind behind the scenes. You don't see big big um, support for them kids. They they give them kids um, confidence. These kids walk in. We we're, we're not a clue. They give these kids not only skills but confidence and and they're there for them kids from the start and. They're heroes to these kids, you know, without, the, without them people, not just them people, people in youth clubs and stuff like that, they're heroes to these kids, to our kids, our next generation, and that's who, who the real praise belongs to, them people. Well said, Jazz. Well, listen, I can't thank you enough for having me down at your gym today. It's the first time me and Coogan have been here, and it's great to have a look around. It's real, got a real old-school vibe about it and a real kind of family atmosphere, you know? Yeah, I love coming here. I love the smell. I'm off for the weekend. My, my house doesn't smell like this. I wish it did, but <laughs> my bed keeps cleaning it up, so it no. doesn't smell nothing like this. Take a couple of them amateur gloves with you. You can have the smell whenever you like. Yeah, boxing glove, smelly boxing glove hanging off my car mirror and stuff. But thanks for coming down. I appreciate it, lads. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it, and we're looking forward to seeing you in action on the, on the Mersey Boys card. Fantastic card, and best of luck to you and Josh Well. I hope it's a great fight. Thank you. Thank you, Jay.